Ranger 01 Aberdeen, Alfredo Morelos is sent off again as Scott McKenna hits winner. Rangers supporters are rarely slow to argue that Alfredo Morelos is not that kind of player. The blunt, naked statistics are beginning to tell a rather different story. Concerned by the seven red cards racked up by his side already this season Steven Gerrard sat down with his players on Tuesday morning to issue a stark warning. Top of the SPAFL Premiership table for the first time since 2011, an acute bout of vertigo was exacerbated here by a hearing dysfunction. Until this first home defeat on Gerrard's watch the Ibrox side had coped admirably with a spate of red cards, some more justified than others. The England legend knew the carelessness might cost them eventually, admitting he was concerned to see Morelos and substitute Kyle Lafferty give his warnings the footballing equivalent of a rubber ear. Morelos has now been booked 12 times and shown three red cards this season and will miss a tricky game in Dundee on Sunday, possibly more. His first red of the season, also against Aberdeen, was rescinded on appeal by the SFA. Booked in each half for tussles with Aberdeen captain Graham Shinney there will be no reprieve this time. The frustration for Gerrard was amplified by the fact that Rangers needed their scoring talisman on the pitch when he was sent packing after 64 minutes. Aberdeen played most of this game with 10 men after striker Sam Cosgrove was shown two yellow cards in the opening 34 minutes, the second a dubious decision by referee Stephen McLean. The difference was that Aberdeen had a precious seventh-minute goal to protect by then. They spent the rest of the game defending Scott McKenna's early strike as if their lives depended on it. Rangers, 4-2-3-1, McGregor 5, Tavernier 5, Goldson 5, McCauley 5, Flanagan 5, Lafferty 45, Jack 5, Cullibaly 5, Gresna 52, Middleton 4, Candias 4. Egeria 4, Morlos 4. Subs not used, Fodernum, Warrell, Halliday, McCurry, Rossiter. Booked, Morlos, Lafferty. Sent off, Morlos. Aberdeen, 4-2-3-1, Lewis 7, Logan 7, Considine 6, McKenna 8, Lowe 7, Ball 6, Shinney 6, Ferguson 7, McLennan 5, May 72. McGinn 5, Wright 82, Cosgrove 3. Subs not used, Cerny, Gleason, Wilson, Campbell, Anderson. Booked, Cosgrove, Shinney. Sent off, Cosgrove. Referee, Stephen McLean. Attendance, 49,711. Man of the match, Scott McKenna. Neil McGinn's whipped free kick from the shadow of the Sandy Jordine stand was cushioned by the head of the towering Cosgrove, the ball falling favourably for the Scotland defender to hook high into the top corner of the net. The only goal of the game, Aberdeen defended heroically for almost an hour and after three meetings unbeaten it feels now as if they have the measure of Gerrard's side. One of Aberdeen's big strengths is set pieces and we didn't deal with the set piece well enough, said the Rangers manager. In the second half I felt we came out a little bit better and created some chances. Joe Lewis made some really good stops. But in terms of the result, we have no complaints. To beat an organized Aberdeen team, you need the majority of your players right at it. You need your players to carry out the game plan you gave them on the training pitch. Unfortunately, we didn't deliver tonight. Aberdeen's victory was all the more satisfying for playing a man down for 56 minutes. Englishman Cosgrove was booked two minutes after the goal for catching Gareth McCauley late two minutes later. The visitors were comfortably containing Rangers, shutting down the space, when the striker received a second booking following a clash with Connor Goldson after 34 minutes. Derek McInnes believed his player reached the ball. Describing the incident as a coming together and expressing astonishment at the decision of Stephen McLean to show a second yellow under intense prompting from the home support. Damaged by a dodgy Celtic penalty on Sunday Aberdeen felt equally hard done by here. Rangers could point to the fact they had a recognised striker on the pitch for just 12 of the last 180 minutes against the Pitadre side. They managed a little longer here until the short fuse which frequently blunts the striking instincts of Morelos blew once again. 
booked for a first-half clash with Aberdeen captain Graham Shinney the 22-year-old caught the dawn skipper late after 64 minutes. It hardly required the deductive skills of Inspector John Rebus to see what came next. Chasing a goal with less than half an hour to get it Rangers were themselves down to 10 men, with their best chance of grabbing one off the pitch. Assistant manager Gary McAllister had words with Derek McInnes as nerves frayed. Had Morillo's taken one or two of his chances Rangers might have felt a good deal more chilled. He almost steered a James Tavernier corner inside the near post with his head after 25 minutes. His best chance came moments before the second booking when he wildly lashed a James Tavernier ball to the back post over the crossbar. It wasn't his best night. Suspended after a red card against Hearts on Sunday Rangers missed the drive of Scott Arfield from midfield and were frustrated time and again by the excellence of Aberdeen's Joe Lewis. Glenn Middleton's low left foot drive was tipped round the post by the Don's keeper five minutes before half-time. The onus fell to Steven Gerrard to change things. The Rangers manager recognized the futility of sticking to a four-man defense against an opponent effectively playing with no strikers. Lafferty replaced fullback John Flanagan at the interval, joining Morillo's in a twin-pronged attack. The Northern Ireland international's first contribution was a daft yellow card inside three minutes. His next was a good deal more positive, a thumping right foot strike from the edge of the area forcing Joe Lewis to push the ball into a dangerous area. Former Don's captain Ryan Jack, Arfield's midfield stand-in, had another crack, Lewis repeating his fine display against Celtic with another terrific stop. Like Morillo's Lafferty plays on the edge. Sometimes he tumbles over head first, a clash with McKenna drawing blood from the lip of the man of the match despite his early booking. Despite a burst lip this was a fine night for a player targeted by Celtic and Aston Villa in the August window. The Scotland defender capped his winning goal with an outstanding block from an increasingly frustrated Lafferty in injury time. As the Rangers supporters headed for the exits news of a late Motherwell equaliser might have lightened their mood. Not much you suspect.